know, the bulldozer match your mind, just taking out everything in his path. It's the name of the bulldozer. The bulldozer pump, nearly killing the cameraman in the progress and makes his way to the ring. Gravity has just increased. The atmosphere is thickened when you walk in this building. Absolutely. Fans know they're in store for a war zone. Remember, this is a Lumberjack match, and each of the Lumberjacks have a belt to beat them with. Absolutely. Lumberjacks all armed with a, with a belt in which to beat whoever tries to escape or get tossed from the ring. Also, when these two go at it, Spider Boudreaux and Matt Tremont, it is always held. Absolutely. Major path of blood left behind in these guys' way. Carnage Cup. Cage of Carnage. Many wars between these two. Lots of blood spilled. Glass, thumbtacks, razors, you name it. These men have cut or used on each other. Their matches are just like the World War II, Germany versus America. Absolutely. It's an intense rivalry. It's spy versus spy. Black versus white. Vanilla versus chocolate. Why can't we just be a Neapolitan? I love Neapolitan. Well, you're fucking wrong. All right, then. Spider Boudreaux staring down his victim. You were saying earlier, the atmosphere thickening as these two men make eye contact. The path of blood and pain thick. Story riddled. Scars and bloodshed and violence. These two men. When these two men get together, they tear the house down. You know, I think Brian Wood's uh, Spider Boudreaux's tag team partner says it best, and these men both live by it. Another day, another scar. Absolutely. And we're certainly going to see another scar or two tonight. Both men sizing each other up. Mutual respect between the two. Let there be no mistake. There is no hatred between these two men. Of course, you've got to have a little hate to get this passionate about death matches, but... These two men respect each other greatly. They both know what each man is capable of. From corner to corner, Spider and Tremont locked up. Boudreaux and Tremont now doing everything they can to get the advantage on the other. Tremont, stiff shot to Spider now. And Spider already. sent out of the ring into the Lumberjacks. And he is being rained upon by Leather. Those belts are terrible. If, if hit hard enough, they can break the skin. It's like being in a tiny razor storm when you have that many men whipping on you with those belts. And now, remember, you've got a lot of guys out there, right? There's bound to be people that have made allegiances with either of the op opponents in the ring. But there is such a mutual understanding of these two having such a large battle that they are all neutral. They will not stop attacking either of them. Absolutely. I agree with you to an extent. Honestly, uh, the wrestlers out here are definitely acting as lumberjacks and enforcers in this match, but honestly, when you're seeing this in person, it's hard not to just kind of stand in awe and become a spectator of sorts. Like, in a way, I, I'd almost, you know, you know, they may even forget what they're doing out there and just see what these two men are doing to each other. They may forget to do their job. Remember, we're all fans. It's a spectacle, to say the least. Tremont now Catching Spider in the corner, delivering shot after shot to the arm. Remember, Tremont came all the way down here from Philadelphia. 13-hour drive. Roots in CZW to come and face Spider Boudreaux at BHW. Absolutely. Tremont will not be happy to go home empty-handed with a loss here. Walking up Boudreaux now. Stiff shot to the chest. Oh, Tremont reeling from the blow. And again. Spider's got a massive hand. That, that Those chops are just pounding on the sternum. Oh, Spider wrecking into Tremont at full speed, crushing him in the turnbuckle. Tremont returning the favor, coming out with a full head of steam. Repeated blows to Boudreaux. Do you think the underdog Tremont can pull this off? Honestly, I don't know who I would call the underdog in this match. Both men, well... Evil, I mean, brutal at the max. True, Boudreaux defeated Tremont the last two times they encountered one another, but there were always extemporaneous circumstances here. 
each time it was very close. I still feel like this match should go either way. Boudreaux now ejected from the ring. Ripped apart by the wrestlers on the outside. Belts everywhere. Tremont trying to get Boudreaux away from the ropes now. Tremont's got a chokehold on him. Indeed. <laughs> Boudreaux applauding the referee's decision to make him reverse the choke, or release the choke, rather. Tremont sizing Boudreaux up in the far corner. Both men at the standoff now. I'm trying! The motherfucker's tough! These are bulls just looking to lock horns. Boudreau now brought down to the mat. Tremont bringing Boudreau to his feet. Whips him up. Double underhook suplex. Massive slam slowing off, showing off their strengths right there. Tremont still not sure what it's going to take to put Boudreaux down. Rare looking on with the belt. Both men evenly matched here so far. He's pacing around looking for a perfect moment. That's all they need. One or the other to make the mistake the other needs to get the upper hand. Boudreaux throwing Tremont out. Your turn, he tells him as... Tremont is left to the mercy of those belts. The lashes from those belts aren't going to be as bad as the lashes from the fans up in Philly if Tremont doesn't pull it together here. Yeah, absolutely. Spider Boudreaux now locking in the chin lock, driving the knee into the back. And that's a good neutralizing chokehold right there. Tremont, as I said earlier, coming off a loss to Spider Boudreaux at Cage of Carnage. Definitely a lot to prove here. Remember, it came down to just those two in the ring. Massive shot from Boudreaux. Tremont is reeling with pain. His face contorted in agony. Boudreaux looking to put him away. Honestly, though, the landscape of this match is very different. Cage of Carnage was, by definition, a death match. The, the ring was littered with glass and thumbtacks. Men were bleeding, losing a lot of blood. You know, low on blood, not sure where you are, dizzied. This here, this is hardcore, but this is more traditional. This is a little toned down. There's more room for strategy here. Well, you've seen the signs and the shirts of the ACC. Yeah, the AAC. Changing the landscape of wrestling in Alabama. BHW, though, ready and able to adapt. Still here, still doing what we love to do. That's Boudreaux grinding the head of Tremont with that garbage can lid. Boudreaux on the offensive end so far. He needs to throw him back out and get a little break. Ricochets. Down. Ricochets that lid off the skull of Boudreaux. Since it's sailing into the crowd. One, two. No pin for Tremont there. Tremont not looking surprised at all. He knows it's going to take a lot more than that to put Boudreaux away. Remember, these two men went off of a tractor trailer. Indeed. Indeed, it took a two-story fall to defeat Tremont at one point. Fisherman's hook suplex with the bridge. One, two. Nearly had him there. Nothing there for Tremont still. Tremont perplexed at the idea of Boudreaux kicking out of that suplex. Instead of thinking about it, he just needs to take him out. Tremont demanding the lumberjack hand him that lid, drives him with the DDT. This could be it here. Boudreaux still showing signs of life. BHW co-owner and fellow lumberjack, Michael Fabre looking on. Tremont to his feet first, but no luck there. Boudreaux's fighting back. Tremont begging him for more. Boudreaux ha happy to oblige. Off the rope. Tremont gets all of it, though. Steamrolling Boudreaux in the middle of the ring. Boudreaux's out of it now. 
No pin. Pulling him to his feet now. Sends him to the outside for a visit with the Lumberjacks. And this means everything to Tremont. Tremont sure. needs to get this win, and he's willing to do anything for it. Tremont's out of it now. He's being beaten to death outside, taking the blows from the Lumberjacks. He has had enough. He's returning fire. I don't think Matt Tremont understands the concept of a Lumberjack match right now. You gotta fight back. Someone's hitting me with belts, I'm gonna fight back. Yeah, especially if you're the bulldozer. Back in the ring now, Boudreaux. Repeated knees to the midsection here. Lumberjack's a little surprised at the reaction from the bulldozer. Honestly, I wouldn't be. Boudreaux now. Words with Tremont. And here they go! Boudreaux flying over the middle rope into Big James. They have had enough of the Lumberjacks bullshit. They are just destroying the entire locker room. Frog not special either. Receiving abuse from Boudreaux and Tremont. Frog now trying to fight back. Not much luck. Just taking a shot from the bulldozer. Lumberjacks. Oh, it's Phil Payne completely laid out on the outside of the ring. Phil Payne is lucky. He didn't get much of it. It is a pile of bodies in the wake and of Tremont and Boudreaux. Him. Tremont and Boudreaux is back in the ring. Are they, they, they are back to it. Absolutely. Simply just taking time to even the playing field here and deliver the abuse back to the Lumberjacks that have been delivered into them. Suplex from Boudreaux. Lumberjacks out here still reeling from the effects of the attack. I'd just make my way back to the locker room. I, Spider Boudreaux's a big man. He just came down on top of all of them. Indeed, it's safe to assume now nothing can really contain these two men. Not a steel cage, not Lumberjacks. Both men colliding in the middle of the ring. It's one of the biggest clotheslines I have ever seen, Tom. Absolutely. In order to contain these two, you don't have to put them in a hole somewhere on their own planet. Referee count and three count. Both men completely out of it. The crowd is just into it. Absolutely awesome BHW crowd here. Hot for this main event. Matt Tremont and Spider Boudreaux. Tremont to his feet now. Tremont's got all the time in the world right now. And he's deciding to use that time to go to the top. Boudreaux still feeling the effects of that massive collision in the middle of the ring. Tremont rallying the crowd behind him. Up he goes. Boudreaux still on the ring. Big man on the top row. Up he goes. Blots out the blots out the lights with a massive diving headbutt too. The earth rumbled under that. Absolutely. Ring shaking with the collision of Tremont. Still not enough to put Spider away. Spider up and Spider Driver in the middle of the ring. Both men are down. This is this is probably be it. it. Spider putting the finish on Tremont in the middle of the Tremont ring. Tremont kicks out. Unbelievable. Tremont still has life in him. Absolutely. He, he's getting his way out of the ring. I guess it takes one off of the top of a truck in order to finish Tremont with it. He drove. Unsheathing that chair, cocked and ready to fire. Tremont has no idea what's coming. Massive headshot to Tremont. And he is completely dazed. His skull rocked from the chair shot from Boudreaux. Boudreaux's not done yet. Tremont's brains are going to end up scrambled eggs. And they are. Tremont, he's still got life. Kick through the gut. Spider's up! Death Valley driver on the chair. Oh my God, and three, that's it. He got him. Matt Tremont goes home victorious oh after man. three matches. Four times the charm. Definitely Tremont going home with the victory over Spider Boudreau tonight. Unbelievable. Death Valley driver onto the steel. Boudreau's out of it. He has no idea where he is. Tremont overjoyed with his victory over Spider Boudreau. Spider Boudreaux can't believe it. Boudreaux out of it now. 
Probably Would you call this do. overconfidence? Maybe so. After two victories over Tremont, it was easy to feel like he was in control. But honestly, after this, it looks like Boudreaux is... Boudreaux was bested by the better man tonight. To put it plainly, Tremont. Boudreaux's back up, and he's staring him down. Yeah, he is. Both men. Huge mutual respect between these two. Bulldozer. That's how you Matt want to show time. He says he's going back to Philly. Thank you, everyone, for purchasing the BHW DVD. I'm Major Tom. And I'm Matches Malone. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care. You know who it is. It's the one and only. It's the suicidal beast, Brian Woods. You know, I come to this show hoping to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dusty McWilliams. It's okay. He took an injury. I got a lot of love and respect for him. But guess what? It got made up in due time. See, in the second match, they had that battle royal. Tojo Yomamoto Jr., you won. You faced the beast. You learned what I'm capable of. Whether it's blood, violence, beatings, coming off the top rope to beat you one, two, three, I walked away the Birmingham Hardcore Heavyweight Champion. So you better learn, take a lesson. It's just another day and another scar. By the time it's done, the world will know my name. Sickness is coming, Brian Woods is coming, and I promise you, by the time I'm done, you know what, fuck it. I'm the champ, I'm number one. You know, they say the third time is the charm.